Hey guys, Val here with Gambler Lures. Just coming off of uh, two pretty good tournaments and uh, top 10 in a Costa and uh, top 10 in a ABA the other day, uh, yesterday actually. And uh, I want to kind of go over a little bit about what I was doing uh, and the conditions, how different this lake can change. I'm on Okeechobee and uh, in, a, in a matter of a week. So Costa tournament, uh, cold front conditions, water temperatures in the you know upper 50s, uh, cloudy, there's no warming trend going on, fishing extremely difficult. Uh, yeah, I made the top 10 with a, just over 24 pounds and yesterday I weighed five fish and went 24 pounds so that's how much fishing changed uh, over over the week but I, I'm kind of go over what happened with the, in the Costa tournament and give you guys an idea of what I was looking for coming into that cold, cold front situation. Low water conditions, I was looking for some outside grass that was thick enough to flip. Um, you know, one No secret, one of the things I love to do on this lake is flip. Uh, and it, when the water conditions are low, it's a little difficult. But uh, what I found was, if you look around you here, is fields, fields of Kissimmee grass. And some of them are thick and some of them are thin. So basically, I uh, was targeting fish in these thicker clumps of Kissimmee grass. And I was using on that, <coughs> I had a uh, ugly otter, one, one, of, uh, one, one of my go-to baits here, on a uh, quick change punch skirt three-quarter ounce uh, Rains tungsten weight and a uh, four-aught super heavy Gamagatsu hook. So that was it the first day. That was the deal for me. Every fish I caught uh, came on that setup. Um, throwing it on a Powell uh, eight foot max and uh, using Fitzgerald uh, Versa braid, 65, uh, 60 pound I believe it is, uh, Versa braid on a Daiwa reel. That was the setup uh, for the first day of the tournament. And I basically, I'm gonna go through and see if I can get this going a week later. You know, the conditions are a lot different, but there might still be some fish left in here. The second day, could not get, it started to warm up a little bit. You know, the sun was out, warming up. I really could not get the flipping bite going at all. I think I caught one fish flipping. And then I switched over to Fat Ace, little eighth ounce weight. And up inside all this Kissimmee grass are some little scattered reeds, little clumps, you know, and I just backed way off of those and made long casts. And that was the ticket for me uh, the second day. I was throwing that on a witch doctor, shaman reel or a rod, uh, Daiwa, Tatula reel, and uh, 20 pound no uh copolymer, copolymer uh, line on that one as well. Uh, kind of a finesse presentation for me, but like I said, they get on those isolated reeds and it's a shallow, clear situation, so a little more finessey for me. So we're gonna fish around and see if we can't uh, duplicate some of what we did. So that's kind of uh, that's kind of how it happened down the first day of that coastal tournament right there. You got a quick look at it. It's a week later. Uh, the water conditions are 10 degrees higher, but there's still still some fish in here. Um, and uh, that was again that's punch skirt otter three quarter ounce weight. Day one right there. would have been an awesome fish for me last Saturday when I weighed five little ones for seven pounds. Probably $6,000 fish right there, but they're still around here. You know, they're, uh, they're not quite as in the, in the thick stuff they were in, but 
It's not bad. Bugsy's excited. I'm excited. Ugly otter. I don't think I've, uh, I've shown you enough of that. I'm going to uh, pick the ace up. See what I can do with that. Awesome. Okay, guys. Day two. Flipping bait didn't go that well for me. But I made a little adjustment. And uh, put this little bad ace on. Eighth ounce weight, made some long cast, two isolated reeds. You look out here, still these little isolated reeds. That was that was kind of the ticket for me that day. And well guys, I can't really get the rebite going. Uh one mud fish, a couple swings and misses, one little 12 incher. Definitely not happening in here like it was uh, a little over a week ago. Just goes to show you the weather changes, fish move, they got fins, they use them, you know. But definitely not happening. If I was in a tournament, I would have made that one pass and been on my way, probably headed maybe out closer to and see if those fish pulled out or they're staged outside and, and not up here on these reeds but um anyway that was the deal you know there's something when you're fishing okeechobee definitely keep in mind because you could easily like i did last week pull in there uh with that fat ace catch yourself you know at 13 pounds and in very quick quickly on those reeds when they're there they're there when they're not they're not so anyway guys thanks for watching i want to thank uh mercury marine making a great motor to get me around everywhere uh, Ray Marine for making sure I don't get lost. Costa, awesome glasses, guys. And um, Columbia, they make some awesome warm weather gear that uh, helped keep me warm last week when it, when it was pretty chilly. And you can keep a Florida guy warm, keep anybody warm. So check out some of their Omni, Omni Heat stuff. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll be back next week to uh, talk to you a little bit about ABA. I had 24 pounds, and it was, it was kind of a fun day. It was on one of our oldest baits and one of our newest baits. Flappin' Chad and Easy Vibes. So thanks for watching. Check us out at gambler-lures.com.